different shows now and it's looking real good the names of the artists are on the back so you can figure out which one you want for yourself there's a lot of audience members in these dvds buy one buy one dvds for sale tucson jams gonna be on tv in just a few momentos tucson jams hello welcome to tucson jams so what is your name my name's gary Nice to meet you. So what brings you here down to Berkey's at Tucson Jam? I've been coming to Berkey's ever since I moved here. I came from Washington yeah. and uh, kind of just looked in the paper and uh, seen a place to jam and this is a place where I've been ever since. It's the coolest place in town. How long ago was that? Four years ago. <laughs> so what is it that you do here at Berkey's? What do you play, sing? Um, you pretty much, you know, do whatever you, um, you want to do. Deacon put you up there with people that kind of matches you with people to jam with and uh, pretty keeps you open to whatever you want to play so you play original music, stuff you write or whatever people know and Specifically what do you play? I play guitar and sing What is your favorite thing to play? Uh, favorite thing to play? I don't have a favorite thing to play I just, you know Who is I come here. <laughs> who is my favorite? What, what do you like to do? Um, I'm kind of old school Rush fanatic I guess Black Sabbath, Iron Maiden, Hardcore. So what exactly does Tucson Jams mean to you? To get tied up. Tucson Jams, what does it mean to you? It's a place I can go, kick back, have fun, jam with my friends, just have a good time. It's a great time and uh, everyone has fun. Um, it's a great place to go. There's a lot of people here, um, a lot of good people to play with. Yeah, and so what do you think of people? Deacon's great, man. He's, uh, ever since I came here, he's welcomed me. Um, he said I came here, you know, just to use the guitar and stuff and to do my thing. And I started knowing people, got to jam with other people. And it was, it's been great, you know. It's been great. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Very much. Right there.
sit right there. I call it the feeling. You're banishing to the end. You're gonna love him more than anybody else, baby. You know I'm an easy touch. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Your music, your way. You're watching Tucson Jams. You're watching Tucson Jams. Hello, here we are at Tucson Jams with Chris Haskell. How you doing? Chris Haskell, the producer of Tucson Jams. You're watching Tucson Jams. Yeah. <laughs> At you, baby. <laughs> Once again, folks, this is the best place to be. This is the right place to be. This is a good place to be. Stick it in your face. Come on down here and be part of this stuff. This is what? Tucson Jams. <laughs> here. So tell me, what's the jam all about to you? Uh, actually, I met my good buddy here, Stu, at a jam right here at Berkeley's, and uh, I was getting ready to get back into music. I was going through a divorce, and uh, I was here, and I saw this little guy playing the guitar, and he was all over the room, and all out in traffic, and I thought, well, that's my next guitar player. And so I approached him, and I said, hey, are you looking for a front man? And he said, all. What do you got? I said, well, I don't have any, but I do have a CD in my car. If you got a minute, I'll play it for you. We'll talk. And I did that, and he thought he was listening to Bon Jovi. He was listening to music. Cool. So what, what is it you do? What is it you play? Uh, we play classic rock, uh, stuff that your parents would love for you to hear. And everybody knows the words. Yeah. And, okay, and what is your name? Violet. Nice to meet you. Where, and what do you play? I play guitar. Guitar? I've been coming to this this jam. It used to be on used to be on a Monday and Tuesday night. I used to come in. Um, I used to have a recording studio, and I would come in to look for talent to record. And after watching, I'd quit playing guitar for 20 years. And after watching people play good and bad, I thought, you know, I used to do that. I could probably still do that. So Deacon finally, after a year, talked me into getting on stage once for the first time in 20 years. Cool. And I've been hooked ever since, and coming down and jamming and playing with guys and just, just having fun. This really means a lot to Tucson. This is one of the few places a musician can come if he doesn't know anybody yeah. and meet people. 
and uh, a lot of bands have been formed in this bar, good and bad. And uh, we hope that it continues uh, for many, many years. Yep, and that's what the jam's all about. And so, like, I hear you sing and play. Yeah. Yes. And, and the really cool thing about this is, you know, we've met some great musicians mm -hmm. from all over the country. Yeah. Uh, in our band, we have Stu's from Chicago, Adam's from Brooklyn, mm -hmm. Mike from Pennsylvania, uh, Delbert is from Mars or somewhere, <laughs> and I'm from St. Louis. Yeah. And we've all been somewhere able to... Between here. And Mars or somewhere, yeah. yeah. And okay. we've all been able to come together, and uh, we formed a band called Dirty Nelly, which, Dirty was, Nelly. which was on yeah. the uh, first program I, I you guys aired. And, um, number, six. Number, six. number six. Okay. okay. Um, Dirty Joe, Nelly. We, we had the name Dirty Nelly because when Stu and I got together, he was from Chicago, I was in St. Louis, and we started talking about clubs that we had played at before, and it turns out that I had played in a place called Dirty Nelly. Yeah. And he had a place called Meant to be, right? Yeah. Meant to be. Yeah. We've been pretty much inseparable in the set. And I didn't catch your name. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. studying twirling let me see some let me see some let me see this drone give me some give me some give me some mr. Jeff D right here got some twirl stuff going on yeah 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 look out look out show business show business show business show business <laughs> Thank you very much. How are you guys doing? Good, buddy. How are you? Good. What's your name? What's it to you? <laughs> oh, Tucson. Tucson Jam wants to know. What's it to who, your barbecue company? <laughs> oh, I got you. Hey, that's a good right there. Good. Sign right there. What's it to you? you know that. What's it to your barbecue? So you guys out here on Sunday nights? Every Sunday. Saturday, Saturdays and Sundays. Yeah, what kind of food you got? Well, on uh, Saturday nights we do uh, sirloin steak dinners, 
with uh, country fried potatoes and uh, baked beans and garlic bread, all for eight dollars. Some oh, days we do uh, cheeseburgers, Italian sausages, and barbecue pork sandwiches. All right, how you doing? <laughs> okay, how are you? Very good. He's filming for our uh, TV show that's on every Sunday. It's Tucson Jams, and you'll be on there now. What's your name again? Sylvia. 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 Say Tucson Jams. Tucson Jams. Yes. <laughs> right on. Man, I was born and raised in Tucson. Yeah? Tucsonian. Yeah. Well, man, I'm a yucky inside. All right. Go that All right. Hey, let's go, go. Hey, put that on TV, man. I will. That will be. Nice bike.
Brothers and sisters, I think we'd be done. It's been a beautiful thing. All the time, every time, anytime, right here. Tucson Jam. I can't stand myself no more.